Good afternoon. Welcome back to another installment of Mr. Peace Phys Ed class. Today we're going to play billiards. Billiards on the floor. Billiards would normally be played on a billiard table or a pool table or a snooker table. It's a different game than pool or snooker, but played on the same table. Why we're playing billiards is you only play billiards with three balls. A ball with a black line, same size ball with a red line, same size ball with no lines. You have a red player, the red line, a black player, the black line. We're using a cube. I found the best to be the mop. I tried a broom. Broom was no good. I was hoping that my favorite stick would be, or my favorite cue would be a golf club, but however, it's not as good as the mop. So we have a mop as a cue, tennis balls as three balls. The table is the floor. I moved the rug out of this room, so I have a hardwood floor, which has less friction, which is best. I'm using these red paper, uh, plastic cups as the pocket. And typically a pool table would be a full rectangle, half the width of the length. This is a little bit more square-like, but not bad. And typically you'd only have six pockets. But because I have this wall sitting out here, I'm using seven. It gives me one extra because I need all the help I can get. Each player has a ball. I'm going to be player black. And I'm going to show you how you score. There's four different ways of scoring. But before I do that, I want to show you how to hold a billiard cue. You spread the four fingers and the thumb creates a V with the index finger. And that's where you slide the pool cue along. Okay. On the floor, you might have to lift the hand up, spread the fingers, create the V. You don't hold it like this ever up like this. I'm going to show you when I get down is that my eye, my dominant eye, which for me is my left eye, is running straight down the cue. And that will mean that I have to put my chin over the cue. If I'm right handed and I'm right eye dominant, my chin would be on this side. But I know that I'm left eye dominant. That's the eye that I use. If I'm taking aim with a rifle, for instance, or lining up a golf putt, or throwing a dart, I would get my left eye to the front. So here it is, very important. Fingers spread, elbow on the table for support, left or dominant eye down the pool cue, looking there, and there it is. And I'm holding the back of it very lightly. You probably want to have four fingers on, it's not quite long enough. This uh, mop for me, so I've just got, when I'm holding this, now I've got four fingers on, but very lightly. You don't want to, you need this to slide along. Okay, so it needs to be dry. And then you look down the cue. Okay, four ways to score. Here we go. I'm black. I can pot or I can sink, is what you would call it if you're on a table, but I'm going to call hitting it. I'm going to hit this cup my black ball with the non-marked ball, hit the cup and it comes back on the table. Here we go, looking down, have a look, a nice smooth, let's hit it. I'm gonna bring it back out. That's two points in my game. Same again with the opponent's ball. Red line there, black line, my ball. A little bit more of an angle this time, gonna hit a little bit harder so you can hear it hit. Looking down the cue, there it is. I'm gonna bring the cup back into line with the other two, another two points. The other way you can score is by going in off. In off means my black ball, which I hit, hits either one of the other two balls and goes into the pocket. Let me show you, I'm gonna set it up here. So I shouldn't miss. Line it up. Get it quite full and then onto the cup. Oh, not enough. Let's say that hit. There it was. Didn't hit it quite long enough. Excuse me. I'm going to have to get this ball. Here. There it is. 
Okay, so let's say that that hit. I was a little bit shy the other way. So, pot the opponent's ball, pot the non-marked ball, go in off either ball by hitting and touching, two points each. The fourth way to score is by what's called a cannon. And again, in this game, we're scoring it for two points. Cannon is when my ball hits the two other balls that are on the table. Here we go. There it is, just nicked that one. It's hit that and come off. I found that we're best using two walls and two open. These are what we would call the cushion, so it hits and comes back on. When the other ball goes off, I've modified the rule so I can have it within three ball lengths. I can't have it closer than three ball widths towards, uh, from the opponent's ball and no closer than three ball widths towards a cup. Okay, I'm gonna bring the one that went off the table back on. I got two points for that and you keep going until you don't score. That's called a break and you keep track of how many points you score per break and you add them to the next turn and to the next turn and to the next turn and that's how you win the game. Maybe you want to play to 11 or 15 or 25 or whatever you want to play to or you just keep going. If you wanted to do it by yourself, you would alternate between a red and a black ball. I'm black. Um, I'm on a break of two. I'm going to attempt now to do a cannon here. Let's see what this break is going to be worth. That's another two. So my break's at four. Oh dear, I'm in trouble now. I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'll try and hit the red ball, play it onto this ball down into the bottom pocket down there. I don't think I have much choice. Let's see if this is going to work to keep my break going or if I lose the turn to the next player. Here we go. Not bad, get in. Yeah, touched it. Not bad, that's another two. It's come off the table. I'm going to put it somewhere here. So what's that, two, four, six? Let's keep this break going. Maybe I'll knock my opponent out before he or she gets on the table. Hopefully that's one of your parents and you can remind them about her all evening. There you go, that's another two. I think that's eight. I'm going to put that pocket back. Now, I cannot hit this ball because it's too close up. I'm going to take it somewhat the same distance, whoops, from that ball. Not too much advantage, not too much disadvantage. Okay, my break's still going. I'm sure you've had enough. Enjoy the game. Billiards, three balls, a cue, as many cups as you think, perhaps a couple of walls and some open space. We'll get through this together. Be well.